Hello YouTube. So the last time I sat down with you guys, I kind of went over the way that I am in my dominant headspace, etc, etc, etc. Um, so today, I don't know what you're expecting from this video as reading the title, but it's not going to be a long list of elaborate uh, rules that you can possibly set or a long list of possible punishments you can set. I'm genuinely going to give you my rules and my routine. Obviously, it's going to vary from sub to sub to sub. Um, this is just general. Obviously, things can be negotiated. I understand everybody doesn't follow things my way, etc., etc., etc. For all you people that watch my videos and are like, oh my god, this is not how everybody should follow. I'm not saying that. My point is that if you are under me, and we negotiate and we come to terms, this is more than likely the structure you will follow. You don't have to follow my structure if you're watching this video and you have nothing to do with me, but it is possibly a good way to build yourself structure or give structure to your submissive. So welcome to my rules and punishments video. Now to start, basically everything that I do is based on a routine. So you wake up at a certain time, you eat your first meal at a certain time, you do whatever you gotta do at a certain time, and so on and so forth, right? You go to bed, you have a bedtime. Um, everything is based on either times or certain parts about the day. Now, what I really prefer is one, you wake up no later than 8 a.m. Now, reason why I say that is because there's really no good sense in sleeping in all day unless your job involves something that you do at night. Now, if you have a day-to-day -day job or daily activities, I suggest that waking up any later than 8 o'clock just doesn't make sense. After you wake up at 8 o'clock, if you're not next to me to make me coffee, realistically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure I get a good morning call or a good morning text message. I should be the first thing you think about in the morning. Now, as far as the meals go, um, I make sure that my girls eat at least three meals a day because you need proper nutrition and you gotta take care of yourself. If you don't take care of yourself, you do not represent me well. If you do not represent me well, then my being is some shit. So, first meal, I usually cut off at about 10.30 a.m. Reason being is because I don't want you to wait until noon, one o'clock to have your first meal and be like, woohoo, daddy, I had my first meal at 1 p.m. Now, keep in mind, I like majority of control and when I say control if you watch my previous dominant video I like control I want to control every aspect of your entire life so if you want to leave the house you ask me if you want to go to the store you ask me now it's not as crucial as like if you want to go to the bathroom you ask me but you get the picture right if you want to get up from the dinner table that you're sitting with me or anything remotely close to it you ask now the asking factor isn't more so I want to make sure that I control your life, but the asking factor is because I want to make sure you respect me in every way. You make sure that every little thought going through your head is filtered through mine as well. And that in itself is the biggest respect part of it. Now alongside from you asking me about everything that you want to do, uh, I'll make sure that you at least exercise for three times a week. Reason being is like I said, you gotta look good for me. You represent me. Got it? Alongside with exercise, you take care of yourself as much as possible. Correct hygiene, you dress correctly, you ensure that you present yourself well to the world. Now that doesn't only represent me in a positive way, but it represents you in a positive way. So now you're set up for more success in life because hygiene is excellent. If you ever come across somebody with terrible hygiene, it doesn't really go too well for them, does it? Another big thing on my list is that I ensure that you learn weekly as much as possible. It doesn't always have to pertain to BDSM, but I want to ensure that you learn and you're consistently allowing your mind to grow. Now, if I give you a task and I want you to learn about it, I want you to learn about it. Sometimes it might not be for anything specific, but it's just to help you grow. I want you to expand your mind as much as possible with my assistance. Now, when it comes to play dates, if daddy wants to play with you, you should be ready 99% of the time. Now keep in mind, if you're sick, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, there's only so much that I'm gonna ask of you. But you should be ready to be played with as often as possible. Aside from that, aside from that, if you want to play with daddy and it's not something that daddy is asking for, then you should bring me a gift. Now, it doesn't have to be you go to the store, you buy something, write me a cute letter, draw me a cute picture, whatever the case may be, if it is coming from you, it's a gift. Make sure that you're open and honest with me at all times, even though I might not like the answer, ensure you're respectful, but be honest. 
You will not engage in conversation with other doms unless my permission is granted. You will call me daddy as often as possible. I genuinely don't give a shit who are around. You'll make sure that you arrive to school, work, or whatever you're doing on time always. You will make sure that you are ready to provide a detailed description of how your day was regarding school or work or anything else whenever I want it. You will ask me before eating any kind of sweet or candy or anything in that category. You will use your safe word whenever you think is needed. Now, doesn't matter the situation. If you genuinely need to use your safe word, do not be afraid. You will be open and ready to use it. You kind of get the picture. Now, realistically, what I want control of is what you eat, what you do, who you go with, who you hang out with, who you speak to, when you play with yourself, and when you come. Uh, like I said, there can be a long, long list, and obviously I don't have a very, very long list of every detail that I'm talking about. Now to the fun part, punishment. A lot of you guys think punishment is the whole gist of this BDSM world, or this thing in general. Um, punishment is genuinely made to correct something. So for those of you that are like, oh, I'm gonna find any way to punish you, or I'm so excited to punish, and punish, 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 punish me, daddy. That is not what that is. I genuinely don't think you would enjoy being punished if you really felt an honest and true punishment. Look. Punishment. The infliction or imposition of a penalty as retribution for an offense. But yet all of you guys are like, Daddy, punish me, or I cannot wait to punish you, little girl, or blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Let's go over a list of my punishments. Punishments don't always have to be physical. Keep that in mind for all of you fantastic internet submissives and dominants. If you curse, your mouth will be washed out with soap. I don't like a little girl with a foul mouth. If you wake up late, if you arrive late to your job, if you go to bed late, if there's anything that you are late to, you will make sure that every single time you do it, you write me 50 lines of why being punctual is the correct way to be. Now there's things like orgasm deprivation. Now, sometimes that can be fun for the submissive, sometimes it can't be. Again, these punishments are gonna vary depending on who the person is. Um, you have things like privilege deprivation. So sometimes you're not gonna be able to watch cartoons or have fun or be on your phone as much as you want. Literally privilege deprivation. So those things can be and will be taken away from you. Now, if you're not punctual enough, I will make sure that you go to bed earlier or you wake up earlier until you are ready to be on time. Now, there's humiliation punishments where I can write on you something in public and you can make sure that you walk around with this writing on you to humiliate you and embarrass you in front of a million people or wherever you walk around. There's plenty of other humiliation acts that you can do just depending on the person, however they're humiliated. Keep in mind, I got a video for that too, so... Now we can get to the physical punishment where it's an actual physical punishment. You ever heard of caning? If you haven't, caning probably is really, 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 really painful. And if you haven't experienced it and you're still asking for people to punish you in a very violent, sadistic way, you should try a couple of these. Caning, crops, wooden paddles, wooden spoons. You ever been slapped in the face a certain amount of times until it hurt? There's so many things that you can do as far as punishment. Punishment is massive because it's going to vary from person to person and uh, situation to situation. You should only punish in situations where, one, the submissive understands why the punishment is being done. They don't necessarily have to agree, but you can't just say, oh, really? You did this? You're punished. Or you did that? You're punished. Let me punish you for everything. You get my point now? There's just a gist of rules and punishments that I use and that I go by, routine, making sure that you're taken care of for me, making sure that you're readily available for me at all times, making sure that you report to me, punishments like I said as far as ensuring that you don't curse, making sure that punishment when it is impact play is really heavy and you do feel it for quite a while. Um, and the biggest rule that I have is when everything's all said and done, when daddy finishes for you or plays with you, you thank him right after. So once everything is done, the words out of your mouth are, thank you, daddy. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, you know that I'm the plug for you. Hit me, better get your money up, cause I don't give a fuck. Got a burner with the snuff and the froggy little bitch, you better jump, cause I don't give a fuck. I know you see me in the club, hella drunk with the team, you run amok, cause I don't give a fuck.